Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to another tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to go ahead and finalize the tutorial by creating sweet alerts. So in React, sweet alerts would pretty much display alerts like login successful or maybe username and password does not exist, you know, alerts like that. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up my code editor and over here, as you can see, I've got the snippets md thing now all we need to do is just go ahead and install sweet alert 2 so just copy this code over here npm i sweet alert 2 then you can open up a new terminal and cd to front end as simple as that then paste the code in there and you want to make sure that you're connected to the internet or there's going to be an issue okay so i'm going to go ahead and connect to the internet real quick and when you're connected just hit enter on your keyboard and this should go ahead and install um sweet alert too okay so let's wait for this to actually go ahead and get installed so while this is installing um one of the things that we would want to do is import the sweet alert over here at the top so that's one of the code that we're going to be needing in our front end okay as you can see it's successfully installed so now we can close this off so um firstly let's see if you open up the package json and um let's see if it actually um come over here Okay, I think I think it's it's globally. So what we need to do is let's come over to front end, come over to source, then context, then auth context. Then we need to go ahead and import it over here. Okay, so we imported it over here. Now the next thing you want to grab is this code. I'm just gonna grab this one and um, just where we log in the user, just over here that we log in the user. I'm gonna paste it down here, as simple as that. And what you wanna say is login successful. The icon is going to be success. So when the icon is success, it's gonna show like a tick mark, something like that. And when you pull those through, that means it's gonna like pop up on the side. And I want it to pop up on the bottom right, which is gonna be somewhere here. Okay, you can do it at the top, that's, that's top right, or you can do it at the top left, anywhere you want. And also you can put a time, a timer progress bar this is supposed to be a timer progress bar not time progress base okay time pro progress bar <clears throat> okay something like this and show confirmation button should be false so after we've done this that's pretty much what we want to do now i'm going to copy this also and put it down here so instead of alerting this i'm just going to put the sweet alert in and this should be icon error and i'm going to put something like an error or code try again okay an error Occurred, try again or you could even say something like username or password does not exist username or password does not exist okay so after you've done that make sure it's an error and that should be pretty much it so now with all this let's get back to our our page over here and this is our home page over here i'm going to refresh this now let's try creating a new user okay how about when we register a new user we want to actually put this over here so instead of something went wrong over here let's say something like um actually i want to use the success one so i'm going to grab the success one over here and just down here let's say something like registration successful login now registration registration successful then we're going to see something like login now login now okay and i think that should be it let's go ahead and try creating a new user so I'm going to hit register. What do you notice? Now we get registration successful. Login now. Then we can go ahead and log in with our details. And as you can see, it says login successful. So if you don't want to show this down here, um, you can go ahead and show it at the top. So I'm going to say top right. And that's great. So also we want to run this code whenever we log out to user. So whenever we log out to user, I'm just going to say something like you have been logged out. Okay. You have been logged out. <laughs> Then we can say something like login again or we could just leave it like that you have been logged out success top right okay so let's go ahead and log out now as you can see it shows up over here you have been logged out and as you can see the timer thing goes down so now when we get back to the register page um fill up the user information and let's say the password is wrong then register okay instead of alerting something went wrong let's go ahead and alert maybe password or username doesn't match here yeah, password doesn't match something like that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to come over to, I'm going to copy the error firstly. Let's look for the error, error one. So um, this is login. This is error. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and copy this one over here from here to here. So this is register. 
how about if there was an issue in the registration let's just go ahead and say something like username or password does not exist then you can you can still go ahead and put in the, the red error code so i'm going to say response.status okay just like that username um instead of username or password does not exist let's just say something like i don't know let's just say something like passwords that does not match okay or an error occurred that should be more better an error occurred okay then we'll put the response code over here okay i think that's more user friendly so when we put this in and register as you can see an error occurred it's a 400 error and um i'm gonna go ahead and fill all this in and run again as you can see an error occurred but if we fill out this right and hit register what do you notice registration successful login now but instead of showing this here let's also show this at top right i think that's going to make more sense so now we try logging in again after refreshing our page with the wrong password login username or password does not exist then let's try logging with actually the right one and hit login what do you notice login successful so i don't want to show all this on the bottom i i want to make sure that all these are on on the on the top right okay so let's look for all the ones that have the bottom this one over here i'm going to change this to top right and top right so that should be it i think we're pretty much done now if we log out you have been logged out there you go and if we log in as you can see login successful we can visit the dashboard and there you go we have our dashboard congratulations the api just responded to the post request and everything seems to be working perfectly well so I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial. And in the next one, we should go ahead and start working with something new. Hopefully, um, we can figure out something that we can work on. I'm trying to create some like a chat app. Hopefully, that's that's gonna make sense for the next tutorial, like a real-time chat app where two users can authenticate themselves and you know chat and receive their messages in real time without reloading the page. Maybe that's what we're gonna do in the next video. Do make sure to drop a like on this one, consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. And until the next video, mad love, peace out.